So today I'm gonna share some more tips um, according to COVID-19. First of all, it's a website. Um, I actually go bookmark three websites right now. So the one I'm showing you right now is Sonoma County, which is where I am right now, and uh, California, how many cases in North, Northern California. And by click on each each uh, red dots, you can see how many cases right now in which county. To me, I felt like, even though California have 2,600 already, um, but majority of them actually in um, Santa Clara, which is where San Jose is. And uh, I'm in Sonoma, so it's 34. I mean, it's comparatively smaller numbers. And then the other one is John Hopkins University Medicine website. And this one shows, um, you can see China, Italy, US is the third one right now. So it does show in global how many um, cases right now and how many total deaths. And USA is today 62 southern at this moment. And you can see, so basically you can see by state. But I find this is um this is give you like rough idea, but then you wanna see because you can see it's it's almost by county too, so I'm going to the third website, it's a M NBC News website, so this one I like about it because, um, I can share my uh okay by the way I share all the links in the comment below. So this one I like because you can see it's a heat map. So you can kind of see very clear which one and they got number here. So obviously New York State and is the highest one. And now California and then Washington State, Texas. Um, so you can see how many deaths, you know, how many confirmed cases. And another thing I like about this, it does have a table to kind of list you know which one has the highest confirmed cases compared to this one it just give you an overall but now the case is so many you know i want to find out where which one is the highest and which one is second highest uh, i can't tell really by this map okay, another tip i want to share you is that you know we, i'm trying to get all the uh, natural way to disinfect stuff as much as possible instead of use all the chemical stuff. So one thing for sure for most diseases, boiling water is the best way to infect anything, disinfect anything. You know in the old time when people don't have so much chemicals, they use boiling water even before surgery. So I have boiling water here. I put some orange just for uh, for, for Kind of smells good, smelly like orange. Um, so I put on my um, book. Two of these is actually uh, it's um, it's a dish it's a sponge, dishwash sponge. So I try to clean them not every day, but maybe once a week, maybe or twice a week. And this is my hand towel. I use that to wipe my hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and disinfect this too. Just make sure don't burn yourself really hot. Okay. So you can see now I'll just wait it for for this boil again. Boiling. And then you know just cool down and clean this out. Okay, super easy. And I felt like this is house, you know, healthy way to disinfect, especially if you have um, like dish wash cloth, some kind of hand cloth, I don't know, napkin cloth, napkin type of thing, anything that you can put in the boiling water. And actually, by instruction on the both uh, sponge. Um, this is a natural one I bought. This is just a regular one. Um, they did say use boiling water. 
All right, this is a small tips. I'm sure everyone knows already. Please subscribe my channel. Um, I will um, post some videos here and there, especially now I'm working from home, so I have more time. Ciao, stay safe, stay away from people.